Right, it's Friday, it's just after midday, oh. and I'm here with Wanderers manager Mark White for Hello, our mate. catch up. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Good, good, right. Well, so we're going to obviously have a catch up about training, uh, the match tomorrow. Great to be back at Meadowbank, and then we're going to do our 25 25, 25. long awaited golden ticket draw. Yeah. Um, the names are in the hat, so we're looking forward to that. But um, first of all, let's just talk about. Uh, on the field stuff now obviously you've there was no match last Saturday you've had training with the boys there was a, a friendly up at uh, Wickham Wanderers on, on Tuesday How, how's the squad looking how's the week been well last two weeks have been really good no game uh, really relaxed you know good good for the boys to mentally relax they've worked really hard during that time it's given us a chance to get a few lads back um, yeah really appreciate Wickham asking us up there um, yeah fantastic hosts uh, got my fucking new deals thick and mud Apart from that, um, yeah, really, really good. We took about, only about 17, 18 up there, a couple of youngsters. Uh, the youngsters increasingly uh, are kind of blending into what we're doing. That's a real benefit of involving them. Um, but we saw the return of Jordan Williams, who notched a goal. Um, Theo got some much-needed game time. He's been in the building three weeks, and we've played one match. So it was good to see Theo out there. looked really impressive. Um Again, Rob Milson, Josh Brookin, the new lads. So, yeah, it was, it was a really good exercise. We, 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 uh, we won 2-1, what well, it's worth. Um, had a, quite a few opportunities second half to add to that. Um, but we created some good chances against uh, Wickham's side. Had, you know, three, four well-known first-team players in and around it and much of their, you know, their, their squad on top of that and a couple of trialists. But um, really appreciate the game, being invited up there and... Um, it was good for us to, to get out of the house, if you like, and have a game of football. And uh, we'll just take that into Hornchurch. Yeah, and on that note, it, it feels like a while, but we are finally back at Medibank. Back at Medibank, all month. Unbelievable. We're there all month, five home games. We've got five home games this month, Yeah. which is just brilliant. Um, so just want to make sure everybody's there tomorrow. Uh, we haven't been there for a month. People might have forgotten what the place looks like or might... Um, you know, have uh, not got a ticket yet. It's going to be busy. Get a ticket in advance uh, because that we want that 12th man support. Definitely, yeah. And as Mark says, get your ticket online, dwfc.co.uk, and you'll get in a lot quicker because we are expecting a lot of people to turn up. Should on be a the big day. crowd tomorrow, big time. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a nice day. A lot, of, a lot of people are looking forward to getting back down there. Now, yeah. obviously, the club announced also um, yesterday that uh, the Hemel Hempstead fixture, league leaders Hemel Hempstead, um, has been brought forward and he's now going to be a week on Saturday, 12th of October, for Wanderers Non-League Day. Amanda. Yes, we're calling it uh, Wanderers Non-League Day on the international break. Um, so it be 10 quid uh, for advanced tickets only. Um, it's 10 quid. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, so um, we, we've already done loads to be fair, but uh, yeah, we've got a whole month of home games. So I think the main thing is get to Hornchurch first. Yeah. Uh, pack out the bank. Get behind the boys. Uh, they're working hard. I'm working hard. They're working hard. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to putting together some results. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, as Mark says, non-league day, wondrous non-league day. Um, the tickets are on sale. £10 adults concessions, £5 for under 18s, £2 for under 8s. Bargain. Yeah. But you do need to buy them in, buy them in advance. advance. You can't get those prices at the turnstile. So don't miss out there. Buy now. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, OK, Mark, well... Without further ado, I think it's we should do our 25 for 25 draw. Um, do we want to do a squad update or not? Oh, God, yeah. No, because no, cause normally I would do that. I'd, I'd just stop talking about it. Yeah, but... I, sorry, I forgot about the squad. No, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, crack Kjord, on. Kjord yeah. training again. Yeah. And he'll be available for next weekend. Uh, Josh and Moro would be maybe three, four weeks away each day. Uh, Josh Taylor... Um, he's doing well, but he's 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 nowhere near it. So we, we need to concede he's not there. Uh, Moro, um, likewise, three four weeks. Um, we uh, we're gonna have the long wave return of Maka soon, which is just gonna be fantastic. I've got to tell you how hard he's worked since he um, since he's done the ACL. is phenomenal. He's a real. Wondrous lad, isn't he? And, and, and watching the relegation and watching, the, you know, the challenges we've had have really hurt him. Mm -hmm. um, he's grown his barnet. Um, he just, he's got a bit of a steel about him, I've not seen actually, a determination. And uh, I saw him banging the ball in the top corner at training yesterday. 
and um, I'm so excited for that. And listen, he's, he's going to need to go and play a few games in the B team or whatever, but he, he's going to be around at some point and, and that's just brilliant for the team. He's never even been on the same pitch as Charlie Carter. You know, that's how long he's been injured for and out for. Um, you know, so, yeah, we're excited about that. I don't, I don't think I've forgotten anybody. Um, if I have, then, you know, um, then we're obviously not that good. Niall, uh, there you go. As I said, no. Um, <laughs> Niall's got a niggle. So, well, look, we are, uh, we're definitely, we're definitely really short in midfield. I think that's fair to say. We're going to be a little bit short in midfield, but we've also got a lot of brilliant players that will play in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're organised. I'm looking forward to Hornchurch arriving. Daryl last came down with Dagenham. Um, Hornchurch have done well last couple of years. We've had a big couple of weeks, and yeah, just um, yeah, all these teams take some beating. They're a great side, great club. Yeah. So we'll just worry about ourselves. I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you want to draw? Yeah. Right. Is so this for the darts. So we've got five prizes. Right, the first the first prize is the VIP day day out with yourself and the squad yeah. at the uh, upcoming PDC World Darts. Just so this, so this is the first one. The darts. So this is the darts. So they're going to go in the VIP with yeah. me, the players, like yeah. last year. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and obviously, I just wanted to also take this opportunity to say a big thank you. We've got over a hundred names in the hat. Some people are in there more than once because obviously they've got your brother in law is in there more than once. <laughs> yeah. And um, and. Um, <laughs> You know, it's great to see so many people wearing. Yes. These by the shirts. way, when I see anyone at matches in these, you know, yeah, I, I know you are a part owner, so I do um I do make a beeline, I do make a beeline for you because it's much appreciated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Retro shirt. So and a big, th- and a big thank you to Castalia Library who yes. obviously got behind it. Then actually not on the back of that one, but yeah. they are on the back of all Castalia the ones. Castalia Library, yeah, yeah, big, yeah, the support they give the clubs are massive and that's going to be a long-term relationship. Absolutely. So it's great, it was great to see so many shirts. Actually, I first saw them down at Horsham and I'm sure we'll see some at home tomorrow as well. So without further ado... And obviously it's the darts. So what I would say is that the rule of going to the darts is if, if you remember the darts, you've had a shit day. <laughs> yes. um, is, is what I would say. So that's, that's what I would say. So Right. Right, so... Here we go. Okay. So your brother-in-law again, Chris. <laughs> uh, I've got three, so... Oh, Charlie Southgate. Charlie Southgate. Charlie, Sa- Charlie Southgate. Do we know Charlie? No, I don't know him. I don't know if he's any relative to Gareth. Not sure. but um, Maybe. But Charlie Southgate, back, congratulations. Well, we'll be doing back passes if it is. It'd be... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Harry okay. Kane in that holding midfield role. Yeah, exactly, um, yeah. So, Charlie... Charlie, well we'll see you there, mate. Obviously, if you're under 25... Uh, don't bring ketamine uh, or anything like that. Yeah, right. So the next the next prize is a 25-year season ticket. So I'm just going to mix them all up a little bit. There we go. They're all in there. Okay. So, Blimey. There's a lot of names. Okay. Right, 25-year season ticket. Wow. Nick Hull. Nick Hull. Well done, Nick. Well done, Nick. Jesus. Better make a note. Grow old. Yeah. Bro, I'm not sure you'll cope with the stress over 25 years, Nick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure whether that's more of a prison sentence than a, <laughs> than a reward. Who knows where we'll be in 25 yeah, years, Yeah, who eh? knows? Yeah, yeah but... well, Nick will be in an early grave. <laughs> uh... <laughs> right, anyway, Nick, we'll be in touch. Um, so, right, the next one is a, a 25-year corporate sponsor board. So, ideally, it's somebody who's got a business that's going to come out or, next. Or, or provides one, I or, guess, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oops. Charlotte Evans. I think Charlotte's got a balloon business. I might be wrong. Right. Okay. I might be wrong. Sorry, Charlotte. Right, right okay. So, Charlotte, that's the, uh, the 25 year corporate sponsor board. Congratulations well, to you. Well Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, the next one, somebody is going to have a first team squad number for the rest of this season. It's so, a big deal. It's the only, yeah, this yeah. is the last one we gave out was to Rich Fippin um, at South End, number 42. So, let's have a look what we've got here. Pot, squad, no, do you know our squad number yet? Do you know what it is? What number? Uh, no, that's no, we'll, we'll pick it, one. Paul, Paul Todd. Paul Todd. Paul Todd, available for selection. Well done, Paul. Bring well your done, boots Paul. tomorrow. Uh, shin pads, you might be in the side, you never know. Centre mid. Um, that's it. Right, and then the final one is basically 25 free tickets. And the person who wins this can use them as they wish. They could have bring some friends or do it over a few games. The only rule is it has to be league games. So 
25 free tickets. So similar similar to Nick's, this is more like a sort of community service role. <laughs> um, I'm joking. Chris Turner! Go on, Chris. Chris. One of our oldest fans. First ever season. I'm talking older. first ever season. Chris, good. You deserve that, mate. That's it. Love that one, well Chris. Good stuff. Good. Okay, well, that's, that all, is all it. All five related our... to you again, Chris. So we've got Charlie Southgate with the darts, Nick Hull with the 25-year season ticket, Charlotte Evans, corporate sponsible for 25 years. Paul Todd is now part of the squad from tomorrow. Paul. With a squad number. We'll let you know, Paul, what your squad number is. And then finally, Chris Turner... Um, Lock music. I've been a yeah. fan for many Massive years. Massive fan. He's got, yeah. he's got to stay another 25 games, that, poor bloke. That's it, that's it. So, congratulations Cheers, to you guys. All. And a big thank you to everybody who bought a 25 for 25 package. Your support is hugely appreciated. Massively. Um, okay, Mark, well, look, thanks a lot Cheers, mate. for your time. Good luck tomorrow. And we'll, uh, we'll catch up again next week. Thanks, mate. Okay, cheers. Cheers.